Hello. On Tuesday, we published a report that I'd commissioned from the Independent Statistics Unit when I first became Chief Minister, and that was within a, a few weeks of starting. And this is part of the work we're doing to develop a new population policy. Now, whilst it contains a lot of technical data, what the report does, in essence, is two things. Firstly, it shows how much money the government receives from households on the island via income tax, GST and duty, and that's on things like alcohol and cigarettes. Now, secondly, it shows how much the government spends per household on services like healthcare, education and income support. So why is that important? Well, it's important because it provides evidence of the financial impact of each household and allows us to work out what will happen if those numbers change. So developing a new population policy requires us to reach the careful balance between controlling the impact on our island and still attracting the skills we need to maintain a vibrant and strong economy. This report is the first piece of a jigsaw that will help us decide what our population policy will be and ultimately how many people we want living in Jersey. It's not an answer in itself. So to get our population policy right, we need to consider a range of factors and those will include things like income tax from companies, or tax income from companies rather, as well as their future workforce needs and the positive social impacts that immigrants have on Jersey, as well as the ongoing impact of having an ageing population and how we're going to support our elderly now and into the future. Now this is the first time that such information has been brought together and actually I think it's long overdue. So we have to develop the island's long-term policies on the basis of hard facts and real evidence. And yes, this may take longer to get it right, but what I can promise is that when we publish our report in the autumn, it will give us, for the first time, a factually based assessment of how a changing population will affect the island. And I believe getting the groundwork right is essential to developing all our policies, and in particular, this one on population. So that's the reasons we give for our decisions to states members, to scrutiny and to the public as being honest, transparent and built on evidence. Thank you very much for listening.